Okay, well, hello guys. Welcome. I'm just uh, still setting up my backup recording here. Just be another few minutes there. Just make sure it's going along smoothly. It doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. Ready in just a moment. Well, hello and welcome to yet another podcast from Suburban FM Podcasting. My name is Nicholas and I am the proud host of Suburban FM Podcasting. Today we are looking at how a security update hit Windows PCs hard. It was a security update released by the antivirus company known as McCathy. And do you stay connected on devices other than your computer? So that's your mobile phone or even your iPhone, your iPod Touch, iPads nowadays, or a netbook. All these mobile devices, and even these devices nowadays, which are 3G modems. And I'm sorry to announce, but the floppy disk has seen its last hour. Well, a security update which hit the Windows PCs earlier this week, which was released by McAfee Antivirus, caused thousands of PCs worldwide to be affected. McAfee's 5958 update wrongly identified the Windows SVC host.exe file as the Windows Coral.a virus. Now this worm tries to replace an existing SVC host file with its own version to help it, well, take over the machine more easier. The update wrongly labeled the SVC host as a virus and then quarantined it. This caused many PCs to crash as Windows users many copies of the file to keep the operating system running all happily. While computers inside the businesses running Windows XP with Service Pack 3 applied were among the hardest hit. Now the University of Michigan in the US said 8,000 of its 25,000 computers were hit by the faulty update. The Internet Storm Center said the update was causing widespread problems and said it received reports about networks with thousands of down machines and organizations who had to shut down business until this update was fixed. McAfee was quick to fix the problem though. Within hours, they released an update file free of the mistake. It also issued a sincere apology for the inconvenience caused. Just as well, McAfee has proved himself once again. You know, I had my doubts about McAfee and antivirus a few years ago, but you know what? I reckon that they've done a lot to their antivirus program since when I first saw it back in 2007. Back in 2007, it seemed a bit overloaded and childish. Now it looks all right. I reckon it's kind of ahead of its time, if you ask me. Similar in a way to a vast antivirus, if you've ever used that program, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Well, it seems like we are connected everywhere we go. We walk to work, or we catch the bus to work in the morning, and we seem to be on our mobile phones twittering away. It's just so easy, you know. You've got the application section on your mobile phone, and then you've got Oprah Mini 5 Better Browser. It seems that the number of these devices is increasing. It is expected to increase to 1 billion by the year 2013, according to Analyst. Now, with just about every device able to connect to the internet these days, they reckon that around the world there is currently 450 million mobile internet users worldwide. And it expects that this number to continue to soar as a world plus dog connects to the World Wide Web with their mobile phone, netbook, toaster, and so on. We are even seeing nowadays internet TV is really taking off. So we're really staying connected wherever we go. Now the number of mobile devices with internet access has simply exploded over the last years, says a technological advisor in Washington. With a wealth of information and services available for almost anywhere internet connected mobile devices, of reshaping the way we go about our personal and professional lives. Just in the last week, Twitter has in fact purchased an antivirus 
Uh, sorry, has in fact purchased an SMS site, which was a startup SMS service in the U.S. It was in business for one year, and Twitter has purchased that with the hope of mobile users being able to update Twitter more easily from their mobile phones. Now, as it stands, according to grants, the user-to-device ratio is about 1 to 1, with 1 1.6 billion users around the globe accessing the internet in some way, shape, or form in 2009 via a mobile device. Similarly, of around 1.6 billion devices, including PCs, mobile phones, and online video game consoles, are also used to access the internet. Despite the smaller screen and slower connection, we're apparently using the internet much the same way. While we're out and about, as we do at our desk, namely using search engines, reading news and sports information, downloading music and videos, and sending and receiving emails and instant messengers. That is why, by 2013, it is expected that 1 billion users worldwide will be using mobile internet services on a day-to-day -day basis. Sounds like a lot, but we're using it for today. Well, if you've ever thought about purchasing a domain, now is the time. Up for grabs is the one most searched for internet domain. Yes, that's right. Sex.com. Everyone's done it at least once, typed it into the address file at the top. Well, it's up for grabs again. It is expected to sell for US $1 million. Obviously, it's not going to go cheap, as that was what it sold for previously. The website attracts 120,000 unique visitors per month for nothing other than the name. But frankly, that's not a massive volume when you consider web traffic that sites like Facebook or even Twitter receives. However, with that name, it might have the potential as a money spinner for some uh, thrusting business group with a bulky finance portfolio and an, ambition, an ambitious plan. Oh, it's really hot in Townsville today. I'll tell you what, we have been experiencing some of the hottest weather this summer. <sighs> well, this, in 2013, March 2011, the Sony company will be stopping the production of floppy disks. Earlier this year, Sony stopped selling the disk in most international markets due to the dwindling demand and competition from other storage mar formats. Now, the slow death of the floppy disk, or diskette, began in 1998, when Apple decided not to include a floppy disk drive in the G3 iMac computer. Since then, various other firms have stopped support for floppy disks, including...